A quick word of warning, this video will spoil the game's story and I certainly do not want to foil your own playthrough, so take my advice and play the game first, that would be nice. There is a game that fills me with such dread developed by the Norse, I couldn't let go, it had gripped me with unspeakable force. The most fright I felt this whole year, the game I speak of is Cry of Fear. At the very start the protagonist gets hit by a car and from there the story goes far trying to find his way home through the empty city he started to roam. Simon found his way into some apartments for housing, the interior wasn't particularly arousing. Dirt, rubbish and blood everywhere, this insanity wouldn't stop, it is just too much to bear. After navigating up and down looking through every flat, it was starting to become clear he had to get out of here. Stat! A long winded staircase led down below, Simon was led to a most fearsome foe. A monster with a giant chainsaw was there. What a cruel world, it just isn't fair. In the end though, it seems Simon was blessed. He was able to slay the monster and thus pass this test. He fainted right after that and woke up sometime later covered in sweat. When he woke up though, he wasn't alone. There was a doctor, his name and purpose unknown. He ran away from Simon, leaving nothing behind. Uh, from here on out though, this doctor was always on his mind. He had to go find him, for maybe he can reveal what is happening or how he could escape this ordeal. For now though, he had to keep walking to get out and find any clues lying about. All he found though was an entrance into the sewers, nothing better than that to lose any possible pursuers. But no such luck, the terror just didn't stop there. The sewer pipes led him to who knows where. At some point the doctor sent at him a beast wielding a mace, a big fella with a fat ugly face. After Simon got the rusty key out of his guts using a saw it just took a few cuts. He was on his way out of this hole, he was hoping he would just take a leisurely stroll. But he thought wrongly for shit just got real. He was plummeting into madness, he started to squeal. The walls were oozing blood, the floors had grown lots of hands. He ran as fast as he could with no thought as to where he strands. He came to the end of the hallway almost dead. At this point Simon was trembling with dread, he thought he was going insane. Or was this all just going on inside his brain?